Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try and walk through based on a question that I got uh, related to working with MarkEdit on a Mac, um, doing Z39.50 stuff. So there are a couple of assumptions that I'm going to make that uh, you have downloaded the current version of MarkEdit. Um, the current version was posted, um, I think it was 7.25 or something like that um, to address a couple of uh, odds and ends. Uh, I'm also going to assume that you uh, have installed um, onto your laptop brew um, and installed the Yaz client that goes with it um, in order to have all the dependencies that are necessary. So assuming that you've done all that and you've run Mark Edit for the first time, um, I'll go ahead and walk through the process of getting a Z39.50 um, a server configured. Um, and then how to go about downloading records. So the current version of MarkEdit is 3.1.55. Um, Z39.50 client uh, by default starts with empty. Uh, this is actually exactly how MarkEdit 7 works. It used to be that there was a master list of resources that MarkEdit 6 could allow you to import from. Uh, that list is so far out of date. When I went to 7, I stopped them. Um, including that functionality. Um, so now everybody uses the same process, which basically looks like this. You need to add a new uh, database. You go to um, add delete databases. Uh, we get a list here of the databases that are currently available. At this point there are none. Uh, I'm going to add a Z39.50 database. I'm using the Library of Congress. So uh, as my list, so I found the U.S. Library of Congress. They have a maintenance page that tells you everything you need to know about how to connect. So U.S. Library of Congress. The host name is lx2.loc.gov. Database is lcdb because I'm going to go ahead and pull the UTF-8 8.1.2.10. Structure is Mark 21 and save. So I have a database now to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and select that database for searching. Um, if I had multiple databases, um, Mark Edit. Uh, allows you to select multiple databases and then change the the preference um, for records that come uh, get downloaded. If you um, use that option, you also have to go to the preferences and tell MarkEdit how it's um, uh, going to be processing records. So download all records, uh, control fields for batch processing. Do you want it to prompt to? Um, overwrite an existing file, do you want it to automatically append to or overwrite an existing file, and then uh, do you have a default place where you want to save records, so I'm not going to deal with any of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick search for records. Um, so I'm just going to search for digital libraries, I know there's a few records that will fall into that category. Um, so I go ahead and search, it says there are 215 records, there are 20 that get pulled by default. Um, so I can go ahead and download these records to my um, database, uh, to my to a local file. So I can either grab um, all of them at once uh, and download selected records. So save as my Z3950 records, and that's going to save these to. Um, it'll save one, two, three, looks like four records. So I go ahead and download them there. Um, or if I wanted, I could download individual records. So select records for download. Select record to download. No, do not overwrite the existing file. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and these will be individual records that I go ahead and append to. Uh, individual records. So that's one. That's two, and that should be three. All right, let's just go ahead and close, we'll go here, and if we look at the records, uh, we'll find on the desktop, uh, here's my records, go ahead and pull those up. Here's the four records that I downloaded. Those were all selected at once. Um, or I can go get the individual records. There should be three. Those are going to be, I didn't put them on the desktop. I put those in my, I put those here, individual mark records. And there's one, two, three. So there are the three records there. Um, so that's all you have to do um, in order to download records. 
If you download records from multiple sources, you definitely want to make sure you've updated Mark Edit to the most recent version. Um, one of the changes that was made was that uh, the tool would, um, if you set a preference for records to download, it could create gaps um, in the uh, data set. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure that you look at is that when you're downloading records, you're telling MarkEdit that you want to not over overwrite your file because if you tell it to overwrite the file, then um, all other file interactions, when it downloads records, it will overwrite that file. Um, you want to make sure that you're telling it that you don't want to overwrite the file, then it will append um, new data to the file that you've created. Uh, that's pretty much it.